The widespread availability of cameras and low-cost litter sensors on robots provides rich multimodal data for 3D reconstruction and novel view synthesis. Litter visual SLAM technology are widely used in 3D reconstruction tasks. However, these methods can only obtain colorized raw point maps, so the map resolution, density, and accuracy are fundamentally limited by the litter sensors. The neural distance fields demonstrate significant potential for capturing high granularity details in surface reconstruction, and the neural radiance fields have emerged as a powerful 3D representation method for photorealistic novel view synthesis. This work aims to leverage neural fields to recover both the structural and appearance information with litter visual systems for general type trajectories. The overall pipeline of the proposed multimodal mapping framework, named M2 Mapping, Given a series of posed images and litter point clouds, we first construct the visible aware occupancy map via ray casting. The neural distance field is trained using the ray distance value from the point cloud. The neural distance field guides the structure aware sampling process of the neural radiance field and predicts the density of each point. The sample points and direction are encoded as features, and the MLP forwards the concatenated features to infer color. The volume rendering accumulates densities and color for novel view synthesis. An occupancy map can be attained through ray casting and serve as an acceleration data structure. However, due to the different field of views between litter and cameras and the sparsity of the litter point cloud, much space is visible to the camera but not to the litter. Only using occupied information from litter for training may lead to incomplete rendering results. To address this, we categorize the occupancy grid states as free, occupied, visible unknown and invisible unknown, and encode the neural fields within the occupied and visible unknown grids to reduce the training workload. The photometric-oriented training often renders floating artifacts. We would like to conduct an accurate structure rendering based on our learned NDF. Sphere tracing is designed for finding the surface of signed distance fields, this method naturally distributes more samples near a surface and fewer samples when is away. Therefore, we propose to treat each step point in the sphere tracing as a sample that makes the sampling aware to structure information for a geometry consistent rendering, and the proposed structure aware sampling strategy better adapts to the SDF prior and focuses more on the surface. We show our rendering and surface reconstructions results on room scale indoor simulation dataset, Replica. We capture more precise geometric details in slim objects while maintaining smoothness. For novel view synthesis, the proposed structure-aware rendering method yields a significant improvement in extrapolation rendering compared to other methods. For real-world datasets, we evaluate three types of trajectory datasets collected with a camera and a litter, forward-facing, object-centric, and free-view trajectories, here, we show our novel view synthesis and surface reconstruction results. Using handheld devices and the fast Levo2 localization algorithm, M2 mapping can be quickly deployed without time-consuming structure from motion. In extrapolating views, all methods show some degree of degradation in rendering quality, where our method renders more consistent results than other methods, where the camera moves freely and lacks co-visible views. We show that the NERF can complete the structure from sparse point clouds and avoid overfitting in scenes. We further dive into the performance differences between NERF-based methods and 3DGS-based methods. NERF-based methods show more reasonable rendering results and fewer artifacts overall, while 3DGS-based method shows powerful capability to capture high-frequency textures.